It's your thinking that gets you in trouble. It's your thoughts that cause you stress. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. I'm very glad you stopped by today to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. And you can find us at www.metaphysicalministryinternational.com. So, what is Metaphysical Ministry? Well, metaphysics explains how our world works, how you create your reality. It explains the fact that existence happens up here in your head, not out there. Out there can only reflect what's up here in your head, and you're creating what's out there. So, what I'm talking about, I did a whole longer detailed video last week and you can find that right up over there just click that link what i want to do is go into a little bit of detail today explain what i mean by how your thoughts are creating your stress now if you've been following me for a while you know some years ago i had surgery brain surgery that left me with nerve damage that not just nerves cut but pieces of nerves missing Consequently, some things happen like acid builds up in my system in here. And after a number of years, the acid built up caused a very painful situation. So, earlier this year, I found myself in really excruciating pain. And all I was thinking about was the pain was so bad. I was thinking about, I know what happens to your body physically when acid continues to be burning tissues. And I got myself to a place where I didn't think I was going to make it through the next two months. Rewrote my will and found a way to be completely still to minimize the hurt. So, the universe said, are you kidding? And the universe said, would you just stop your thinking? Because your thinking is creating a mess. Your thinking is creating the pain. And it reminded me, I'm in control of my life. The circumstances, their circumstances. What do I do with them? What do I think about them? That's my choice. That's my action. That's my decision. So I started thinking about how I was gaining more and more health. The acid quantity actually declined, and I've been able to do things and have a life again. And the best part is, I got back into realizing. It's not thinking, it's not my ego mind that brings me my delight and success and most importantly, peace and contentment. It's being in the I am energy, which you get to by meditating. I'll talk to you a little bit more about meditating next week. But for now, just close your eyes and just notice your breathing. You don't have to count your breath in, you don't have to hold it, you don't have to breathe any particular way. Just notice how your breathing is working. I appreciate your clicking like and share. Let other people realize they're creating all the misery, the physical, the emotional, the bad situations. It's a choice you make, and you can make a different choice. I wish you a wonderful week filled with many blessings, because the more for which you're thankful, the more blessings you'll notice. They're happening to you all the time. Enjoy.